fourth prize winner here in our local contest is Bessie June Rasmussen of Apple Valley. <laughs> I knew it wouldn't be me. The only thing I ever won were those free facials down at Antoine's. Our third prize winner is Harry Jerome of 16 Maple Drive. Harry Jerome. The why don't you tell everybody he's a sponsor's nephew? <laughs> and for our second prize, our second prize winner is Wilma Weininger of 477 Hesby Avenue. Hesby Avenue? Th th that's clear across town. Politics! <laughs> and our first prize winner goes to a lucky person right here in Mockingbird Heights. It's worth $5,000. And the first prize winner is Mr. Herman. Go ahead and say it. Mr. Herman Overholzer. <laughs> Mr. Herman Flork. <laughs> Mr. Herman Munster. Graft! 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 You hear me? <laughs> Wait a minute. Speak. <laughs> I'm Herman Munster. I'm not. Hi, uh, I'm Herman Munster. <laughs> what a prize worth $5,000. Billy, really, Grandpa, everybody come in quick. Oh, what's what's up, Herman? What is it? The contest on TV. I won. I won. I won. <laughs> Where am I going? Down in the dungeon. I want to find out what Herman's talking about. He'll be there any minute. in suspense any longer. Come on, Pop. Tell us about the neat prize you won. All right. All right. All right. The Munsters, mind you, the entire family, has won a membership to the Mockingbird Heights Country Club. Come on, Herman. Oh, that club is so exclusive. Why, you know you have to wait for one of the members to pass away before you could even be considered for membership. I know, that's what's so wonderful. Once we're in, we can stay forever. As far as I can recall, no member of my family ever passed away for good. You know something? I think I'm going to take up golf. Oh. <laughs> Only I'm not sure about being out in the sun too much. I'd hate to lose my parlor pallor. You know, ooh, I'm going to love it. <laughs> it's going to give me a chance to mingle with some real blue bloods. Well, Grandpa, if you do, just don't put the bite on them right off the bat. I have a letter here from the local television station. They have a winner for that club membership we donated. I was against that from the beginning. This is an exclusive club, and awarding a membership through a contest is very undignified. Oh, I'm sorry, Petrie, but I'm inclined to agree with Reggie. A thing like this can give us a more popular image with the community. I'll go along with it because I seem to be outnumbered. But who are these contest winners? It's a Mr. and Mrs. Herman Munster and family of Mockingbird Lane. Well, we have a luncheon and fashion show coming up this week. We can invite Mrs. Munster to that and send Munster a guest card to play golf. In that way, we can get a close look at them, see if they measure up to our standards. <laughs> You know, Grandpa, I bet it would even shake up Arnold Palmer to see me on the putting green. 
<laughs> You're good, all right, Herman. You know, the last time I saw a swing like that was when they hung my Uncle George. <laughs> Grandpa. Uh, I... uh, Lily, Lily, dear, please. I'm shooting. <laughs> what the mailman just dropped and ran. My new Bugs Bunny cartoon book? <laughs> it's a letter from the Mockingbird Heights Country Club. They're inviting me to a luncheon, and they sent you a guest card to play golf. <laughs> oh. You know, Lily, that's a very good idea. It'll give us a chance to look over the club and see if the people measure up to our standards. <laughs> we'll have to dress to the occasion. Um, I think I'll wear my new Transylvanian original. You know, the one with the, the lovely shroud? <laughs> Old Hermie the Pro. <laughs> Four! Grandpa? Where did the ball go? That. A hole in one. <laughs> From the turnout today, I think this is going to be our most successful luncheon. Uh, two of the monsters have accepted our invitation, so this will give us a good chance to look them over. I'm still not sold on this idea of awarding a membership through a contest. It's the duty of this committee to see to it that only the right sort of people are admitted to the club. Excuse me. Where are they having the luncheon? It's in the main grill. Thank you. <laughs> and that's another area this committee should take up. Every time Charlie Hinshaw gets a snootful, he dresses up in those ridiculous outfits. <laughs> that was the wildest one yet. <laughs> Lily, the man said that the luncheon is in the grill room. Grandpa, this place is depressingly cheerful. But I suppose this modern decor is what they go in for. $79.95, Sally's Tog Shops. My, the people are friendly here. She told a perfect stranger where she got her dress and how much it cost. Yes. <laughs> hey, but but I, I don't care for that style. I wouldn't want you to be seen dead in a dress like that. <laughs> You're right, Grandpa. I'll make a point not to. <laughs> Shall we uh, have a libation? <laughs> Hi, folks. A little early for a masquerade party, isn't it? Sure is. <laughs> The people are so jolly. <laughs> this is Civil Chiffon from the Paris Collection, one twenty nine ninety five. Now, that dress is more like it. When I used to fly around in the old country, I always found the high neckline a challenge. <laughs> Sweet, the way the women around here confide in each other. I think I'll float around a bit and get acquainted. <laughs> this is Simple Chiffon from the Paris Collection, $129.95. <laughs> This ensemble has a cape made of tufted coffin lining in a lovely shade of cemetery green. This little number was very inexpensive. The fabric is made of black widow's webs and the underslip pure unborn centipede. Now, I'm afraid.
friend, this is all very simple. I'll show it again. Now, all you have to do is guess under which nut the spider is hiding. <laughs> of course, if you don't guess the first time, Grandpa, you could... I show the ladies my dress, and oh, good, you're showing the bartender the shell game. Don't win too much, Grandpa. <laughs> Yeah, that's not Charlie Hinshaw. Who are those people? Those are the monsters. Good heavens. <laughs> He's gambling with the bartender. She's gotten herself so stoned, she's joining the fashion show. <laughs> you still want those contest winners in our club? Petrie, I'm afraid I'll have to agree with you. But I'll tell you something. When that Mr. Monster shows up to play golf, if he doesn't turn out to be our idea of a human being, I'll throw them out personally. Now, Lily, do you mean the people were actually rude to you at the country club? <laughs> yes. When we first went in, everything was fine. But suddenly, I had a feeling we weren't wanted. <laughs> That's right, Marilyn. There I was, playing my shell game with the bartender, when all of a sudden, some guy in a dark suit came by, scooped up my shells, and led me outside. He said they, they, they didn't allow nuts in the club. It must be some kind of a rule of the Department of Agriculture. I was going around showing off my dress when one woman came up to me and said, why don't you go home and sleep it off, dearie? I tell you, Marilyn, we might just as well face it. Those people at the country club are just not our kind of people. Oh, what a shame. If Uncle Herman went down there and got insulted, why, he's so sensitive, he'd go all to pieces inside. Oh, that would never do. The last time that happened, he rattled for a week. <laughs> I guess we'll just have to tell Herman that it won't work out. And that we don't want to join a club like that. We're home from the golf store. Yahoo! We're home! <laughs> well, how do you like it? The man at the store said this is what Ken Venturi wore when he won the National Open. We're gonna play tomorrow, and I'm gonna caddy. I bet everybody will follow us all over the course. Oh, boy. Now I know how the Prince of Wales used to feel. <laughs> That's fine, Prince. You better start feeling like a peasant again. Hmm? Grandpa, uh, uh, What's he talking about? Oh, well, Herman. Uh, what would you say if we, uh, Well, if we decided not to join the country club, not join? What do you mean, not join? Lily, I won that membership fair and square, and if I didn't join the club, it would crush my spirit. And I don't want my spirit crushed. <laughs> oh. But I was thinking that I'd probably scare the boys away just as much at the country club as I do here. So I don't care if we join or not. You don't? No. And I'd probably get to like the, the, the luncheons and the teas and the cocktail parties, and I'd start coming home late and serving you TV dinners and uh, neglecting my family. You know, all those little niceties that are part of country club living. <laughs> and Herman, I don't want to join the club because there's no one there of my class. I mean, after all, Herman, you know, I'm a full-blooded count. And the closest thing they have to royalty there is the bartender, Duke Feinberg. You know, I've suddenly realized something. You do? You do? Yes. You know what you've made me realize? What? That you don't give a hoot what I want. What does a man work for all his life? Uh, a little feeling of respectability and, and success. Well, that's what joining the club would give me. And that's what I want, and I'm going to have it. You hear me? That's what I want, and I'm going to have it. I'm going to have it. I'm going to have it. Excuse me, Lily, while I continue this conversation with Herman in the dungeon. <laughs> Dear Lily, Eddie and I have gone to the country club. We'll play a round of golf before work. Signed, Arnie Munster. Look at the time. It's 5.30 a.m. Half the day is gone. That course will probably be jammed. Oh, dear. I just hate the thought of all those rude people staring at Uncle Herman when he tees off. <laughs> oh, 
par five, 580 yards. <laughs> Short one. <laughs> Do you want to pick a club? Oh, uh, 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 good idea, son. Uh, eeny, meeny, miny, uh, uh, What am I doing? Eight's my lucky number. Eight iron, Caddy. <laughs> Here you are. Thank you. Oh! Now, isn't that nice of them? They left us two practice balls. Now. First thing you do, Eddie, is to address the ball. Hello, ball. <laughs> uh, 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 that's a joke, Eddie. No, oh, sorry. <laughs> now, Eddie, the hole's right down there. Keep your eye on the ball like a good cutty. You know, those practice balls are nice and big, but they're made very badly. Uh, uh, give me one of our small ones. Thank you, son. Now, ready? Ready. yards away. I think you overclubbed yourself. I think you're right. But, as they say in golf, Eddie, you gotta play them where you hit them. Yeah. Come on, we'll ride down to the ball. Okay. That's one of the reasons. <laughs> I think I made the trap. <laughs> This is a very important shot, getting out of the sand. Now watch closely. I'm pin high. <laughs> Eddie? Eddie? Eddie, where are you, son? Eddie? Pop, you made the green. How about that? How about that? You know, Eddie, I never knew golf was such a fun game. <laughs> Come on, son. <laughs> against the wind. <laughs> Just as I thought. 
I've been putting against the grain. I made it, I made it, I made it, I made it, I made it. I made it, I made it, I made it, I made it, I made it. I made it, I made it, I made it. Come on, Pop, let's go to the next tee. Uh, 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 be right with you, Eddie. Those rude people didn't embarrass Herman when he tried to play golf this morning. Lily, there's no two ways about it. That country club is just not for us. And when Herman gets home from work, I'm sure he'll tell us he's decided the same thing. We all thought it was so great when he won that contest. Hi, everybody. Hello, dear. Sweetie, about the country club. Lily. Please don't mention that country club. It's just too sad to think about. <laughs> You're right, Herman. Yes, Grandpa. Read the afternoon paper. <laughs> Fiend desecrates golf course in early morning. <laughs> Inhuman footprints were found this morning on putting greens at the Mockingbird Heights Country Club. <laughs> Enormous gouges taken from turf and course flooded. Greenskeeper is in a state of shock. <laughs> what does this mean? What does it mean? It means that we are not going to join the country club. I will not jeopardize the safety of my family at a country club where some madman is allowed to run loose. That's right. That club is just no good all around. My letter of disapproval is already in the mail. I've turned down that membership I won. Uh, it's a shame we have to forfeit a $5,000 prize. Uh, well, as far as the money is concerned, I told the club that they could use that money to repair the damage to the course caused by that madman. <laughs> it's just lucky you didn't run into that fiend this morning when you were playing there. <clears throat> well, don't say such a thing, dear. If I ever came face to face with a frightening, horrible creature like that, it would scare me out of a hundred years' growth. <laughs> now, her. <Look! laughs> Really, Herman, after all the trouble we've had with that country club, haven't you had enough of golf? Someday I may find a golf club worth joining. And it won't hurt if I keep up with my chip shots. <laughs> Grandpa, uh, uh, did you see where, where the... <laughs> oh, I... Grandpa. Herman. I... Would you do me a favor? Certainly, Grandpa. Don't ever take up bowling. 